It's not easy being me We'll wash your face and brush your hair We'll nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm Horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm Horrid Henry Na, 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 na The purple hand gang rules, okay Well, it's so easy Upstairs in your room. Didn't you hear me, worm? I'm going to watch Mutant Max. No, you're not. There's no telly tonight. No telly? What did I do wrong this time? Nothing. Mum's new boss is coming to dinner. Cool. We always get pudding when people come to dinner. Hope it's chocolate mousse. I'm going to check out the pudding. as well. I want this place spotless for the Mossies. And Henry, it's a grown-ups only evening. You'll be in bed when they arrive. In bed? But I'm staying up to play the cello. That's not... <laughs> Dad, please can I stay up for dinner? After last time, no way. is served. Oh, no. I'm all grown up now. I promise to behave. You're going to bed early tonight, Henry. It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's still not fair! What are you cooking tonight, dear? Salmon with lime and ginger, and, uh, chocolate mousse for dessert. Mum, I'm really looking forward to meeting the Mossies tonight. Nice try, Henry. Oh, but it's not fair! Peter gets to stay up and you're having chocolate mousse! I love chocolate mousse! Mr Mossy wants to hear Peter play the cello, and then it's off to bed for him as well. I'm rather looking forward to an early night. I understand that grown-ups need to be by themselves sometimes. Hurry, Henry! Stop it! Go to your room! I won't! I want to stay up! I want chocolate mousse! I want... Upstairs now! And don't come out until I tell you. Oh, oh. Dinner guests are here! Oh no, the moose! I'll have to make another one. <sighs> Good evening. Hello. Delighted to meet you, Mr and Mrs Mossy. I'm Peter. What a journey. Put Hercules down, dear. <coughs> Look, Fluffy. A nice, big, tasty mouse. Cello sound better? Poor oh, Hercules! Mummy will protect you! They really ought to keep that wild beast locked up! It's just not fair! I'm stuck here while they're all having fun! Oh, 
perfect. has tampered with your music, Peter. dog. I must apologise. Has he eaten them all? <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a few nuts. I didn't know they could jump that high. Neither did I. Hmm. He must enjoy a challenge. <clears throat> Got to be careful. Time for Operation Grizzly Grub. They're gonna love this. Henry, you're supposed to be upstairs. But I want to meet Mr and Mrs Bossy. Crisp? How sweet. Mossy, not bossy. But, Mum, isn't that what you always call them? <coughs> Peter, get Mrs Mossy a drink. Right away, Mum. Oh dear, come on Mrs Mossy, let's get you cleaned up. And you boys, go to bed. Certainly. Good night Mr Mossy, I hope Mrs Mossy gets better soon. Hmm, Grizzly Grub, eh? Haven't seen one of these in a long time. I dare you. Supposed to be in bed. Oh, what a shame. We've had a performance by Peter. How about Henry? Surely you can do something too, Henry. Oh, yeah, I can do karate. Hi -ya! No! <laughs> Very good, Henry, but I have my own special martial art Mossy Kido. Bedtime, Henry. to Mr. and Mrs. Mossy. Oh, thank you, Henry. The salmon! Oh. Oh, come along, Hercules. We're leaving. <laughs> I apologise for our son. Please don't fire me from my job. <laughs> fire you? Why on earth would I do that? Best fun I've had in years. But, but, but... Most dinner parties are so boring. But this was definitely not boring. Perhaps you should uh, say your goodbyes to Mrs Mossy? I, uh, yes, of course. 
Mrs. Bossy, won't you at least stay for some uh, chocolate mousse? Don't worry, my boy. When I was your age, my nickname was Terrible Timothy. Really? You'll get punished for this. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You're good, Henry. But as I found out as I grew older, there's always someone better than you. Save loads. You could learn a lot from Peter Henry. Henry. <laughs> That's enough, Henry. No pocket money for a week. What? No! I need a new castle! You'll have to save up then, won't you? But, but how can I save money if you're not giving me any? You could earn it. <laughs> earn it? Burst. A chess set? What were they thinking? I need more things! Hmm, you look lonely. Come with Henry! Oh! Smells like a baby's bum! You got any food? No. How much have you made so far? 37p. You're wasting the smell. Hitting a sale, Henry. Nothing gets past you, does it, Al? All money raised goes to a very good cause. Child in need. Henry, that's Mum's special perfume. Oh, she's got loads of bottles. She'll never miss one. That's two. Hmm, I'll give you one. Done. That's Dad's tennis racket. Oh, stop moaning or I'll sell you. Oranges. Buy my juicy oranges. Oh, give me five groats for this weedy peasant. He'll scrub floors, clean out your pigs and he only eats mud. You bring him. That's it. Would you like to earn some money, Peter? How? I could sell you as a servant, and I'll give you 10p. Is that all? All right, 10p a day. That'd be 20p for the weekend. Hmm, I suppose it would help my savings plan. All right, I'll do it. Great! Stand on the wall and look. Servanty, 
Okay, who fancies their very own servant for the weekend? Yours for just 75p a day, or a bargain at £1.50 for two days? What does he do? Anything you want. He's a servant. Yeah, all right. It'll be cool having someone doing just what I want. Why do I only get 20p if Ralph gave you £1.50? The uh, expenses. Now run along with your new owner. Amazing! After I've paid Peter, I'll have £2.67. I'm on to something here. Welcome to King Henry's, the largest chain of superstores in the world. Henry, have you seen my big bottle of perfume? No. Uh, I mean, what, what bottle of perfume? I thought she'd never notice. And where's Peter? He's not in his room. Oh, I, uh, I sold him. What do you mean, you sold him? Well, I've sold everything I don't want. And I certainly don't want Peter. I sold him to Ralph. Well, you go round to Ralph's right now and buy him back, you horrid boy. But I don't want him back. Henry, go and buy your brother back right now. When I'm king, parents won't be allowed to have any pocket money. Henry. Mum says I've got to buy Peter back. I'll give you 50p for him. 50p? I gave you £1.50. He's second-hand goods now. I could go to 60p, but that's my last offer. Doesn't matter anyway. I sold him. What? Who to? Margaret. I got £2 for him. £2? I was robbed. Peter! Peanuts! Now! Faster! <laughs> oh, idiot! Yeah, idiot. Sorry, Miss Margaret. <sighs> well, we don't want them now. You toss them all around the countryside. Go and get some drinks. And don't spill a drop or I'll make you wish you'd never been born. <sighs> yeah, never been born. Henry, have you come to rescue me? Uh, no, can't. A deal's a deal. Please, I'll do anything. You can keep the 20p. I'll pay you 50. A pound. She's horrible. Nearly as bad as you. <laughs> come back. I'll give you all my money. <laughs> See what I can do. Oh, thank you, Henry. Where's my drink? <laughs> oh, you're blocking my raise. My mum says I have to buy Peter back. Well, you can't. I pay good money for him. All right. Here's your one pound fifty. <laughs> Don't waste my time. He's fully trained now. Worth at least oh, ten pounds. Ten pounds? I'm not paying ten. Hey, what if I take his place? You, a servant? You'd be hopeless. Oh, yeah, hopeless, Henry. I'd be great. And you'd get to boss me about. Boss you around? Hmm, that's worth a lot. All right, but I want my money's worth. I promise. I had to pay ten pounds. Oh, thank you, Henry. I'll pay you back. I'm free! I'm free! Henry! Hurry up! You're mine now. Coming! Your drinks, ladies. Too late. I've got to go now. You should have been quicker. You're going to have to smarten your ideas up. But don't interrupt! I'm going to see Susan out. Then I want fresh nuts, a decent drink with more ice, and my cushions plumped. Got it? Got it. Right. Operation Free Henry is a go! Margaret to you. That's better. When you 
finished, you can go and clean all my shoes. enough left over. Huh? What do you mean, left over? This isn't the way to the toy shop. No, it's the way to the sports shop, where they sell tennis rackets. And then we're going to the perfume shop, where they sell perfume. You should have just about enough. 